So for this video, we're going to be working on some strengthening around the knee in a few different ways. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up, I want to show you from a few different directions. I want your hips just about shoulder width apart, maybe just a little bit farther and feet fairly straight, unless you usually stand with your feet totally turned out, then just kind of go mildly between straight. Once you have that, I want you to think about just relaxing your back, softening your knees, and I want you to just slowly to let both knees go forward keeping pressure through both heels. Okay, this is gonna be the setup position. Once you have that, I'm going to have you keep the weight in your heels and I just want you to shift to one side, making sure that weight stays in your heel. And then I'll just show you shifting the other way here, weight stays in your heel, okay? Just to show you that from this view as well, both feet just about shoulder width apart, maybe a little bit wider, knees go forward, pressure through the heel, okay? I don't want us arching our back a ton here. Just think nice, relaxed back, knees are going forward without the rest of our body going with it. Once we have that, shift again. And now I want you to hold in this position. You're gonna see me better from this angle. Right now I have pressure in my heel. My, feet is, my foot is still flat on the ground, but I can immediately start to feel a lot of quad activation. I do get a little bit of tension in the front of my knee, so if that's happening to you, that's totally normal. We're trying to work on some strength in this position. Then, once you have pressure in the heel, I want you to just barely shift your weight forward until you feel like that weight goes from your heel to your midfoot. And now as I hold here, I can feel my calf kicking on as well. And now I want you to stand up, thinking about the knee staying where it is until you're all the way back up, okay? Just to show you that again, start equal, weight between both feet, just soften both knees, find that pressure in your heels, shift over onto one leg, pressure is still in my heel, and I'm gonna hold. It might only be five seconds to start, it might be 15 seconds to start. Just kind of see what your body will tolerate. Once you hold, now I want you to shift into your midfoot. You should immediately feel some calf kick on, on that side. I'm not going past my midfoot into my toes. My toes are still long on the floor. And now I'm just going to stand up, thinking about keeping that knee forward as I stand up. So you can play with that. You can, you know, go one side, then the other. You can play with how far down. I'll have people in practice trying to get lower into the squat. Same thing, it's gonna be harder here. I can immediately feel more quad, a little bit more tension on the front of my knee. Pressure in my heel. Shift forward, hold, and then standing back up. And I can definitely feel the calf now starting to kick on with the quad, which is what we want. All right, so go ahead and give that a try. Do a couple on each leg, but it's really to just start strengthening the knee um, with the knee over the toes, rather than always keeping them back behind our our ankles, we want to start strengthening with our knees going forward. So give that a try. Let me know if you have any questions.